know what you're thinking out there. You're thinking this old prick, he's mad for pussy. He's mad for it. Bullshit. No man is mad for pussy. There's nothing sexy about pussy. I've seen a thousand of the fucking things. 500 in Bangkok alone. There's nothing sexy about pussy. It's what's around the pussy. That's what makes us crazy. It's a pretty face. It's a great pair of legs. It's a great ass. It's women. We love women. Your personalities. The way you put your hair up when you're taking a shower. The nape of your neck. The way you smell. The way you walk. It's women. It's not the organ. Now to prove my point. If that door opened right now. And an unshaved, unattached vagina just crept out here on a fucking stage. <laughs> an unattached vagina, just... Picture it moving sort of the way a horse's mouth does when it munches oats, you know? No man out there is going to get turned on. But you women, you got your own language. You know what I'm talking about, guys? Your own language? You know when they go to blow you? And they say, uh, are they all that big? Uh, am I doing it right? Uh, I've never done this before. Don't you love that fucking line, guys? I've never done that before. Then they hit your prick the way Christy Alley hits an all-you-can-eat buffet, right? I mean, they swallow your package the way a tsunami swallows a Polynesian fishing village, you know what I mean? a Muslim? I don't want a virgin. I want a chick who can empty the fucking cargo hold of an oil tanker with a soda fountain straw. You know what I mean? You got your own language. 45 years ago, I was in a one-bedroom flat in London with this charming young whore. And we're about to do the deed. And she says to me, wait a minute, Yank, wait a minute. I've got my friend with me. Now, I'm 20 years old. Like My testosterone is through the roof. I'm a recovering Catholic. I got a heart on. I can't crack this fucking code, you know? I look around. I don't see nobody. I figure maybe your friend's in the closet. I said, cool. Let your friend out of the closet. We'll do a threesome. We'll have a couple of laughs. She says to me, are you retarded, Jay? Are you retarded? I mean, I've got my friend with me. I've got my period. Now, I just came back from Vietnam. I said, that's not blood. Are you kidding me? You can stop that shit with a band-aid. I don't give a fuck about your period. I pull those fucking strings with my teeth. Are you kidding me? You're going to need a whip in a chair to get this fucking angry inch back in its cage. Your period. When I drink Bloody Marys, I use tampons as a garnish. I don't give a fuck about your period. Are you kidding me? I don't get, and let me tell you something, boys and girls. You had to be a man in my day to go muff diving in chummy waters. Let me tell you something. Because broads weren't pushing any of these bullshit ball pussies. Or any of these Hitler mustaches. Or any of these fucking landing strips. Oh, no, no, no. They had good old-fashioned mats that you could wipe your fucking feet on. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And when that fucking thing was bleeding once a month, it looked like a crime scene down there. I mean, it looked like somebody slit a bear's throat. You know what I mean? It looked like somebody slaughtered a couple of the Muppets. Now I'm going to put it to you one more time. If that door opened and this unshaved, unattached, bleeding vagina came chopping out on this fucking stage, you men out there, you're going to want to fuck that thing is what he's going to want to hit it with a fucking shovel. What the fuck is that? I don't know, but kill that fucking thing and don't let it get out of here. Speaking out of here, that's my set. Before I go, laugh every day, think every day, let something touch your heart every day. That's a day well spent. I'm Billy O'Connor. Thank you. I love it. Thank you.